Hello, frugal friends. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're doing our weekly word. The whole point of me doing this uh, study is to share with you things I go through in my life and the way that, that the Lord helps me um, go through these different things and, and win. So let's begin with Titus 3 today. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. So, you know, not because we're perfect. That's not why he saves us. It's because we're unperfect. It's why he saves us. Let's move down tonight. But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because they are unprofitable and useless, right? So this week has been kind of a hard, last week was kind of a hard week for me. It should have been a week I was enjoying. It was my birthday week. Uh, my sons were here and my grandson and, um, that you know, the devil tried to distract me from the, the things that God was doing in my life because I didn't really know when I was going to see my grandson again. He he's moved to Virginia, and uh, my son lives in North Carolina. So I'm thinking I may I may never get to see my grandson again. But I got blessed, and he was here this weekend. But the devil tried to distract me from that and had me in my flesh. I was in my flesh, and things went on, and I was angry about those things, you know. But um, it 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 ruined something that should have been a really good time for me, and um, I'm not gonna allow that to happen. And I don't want to be an set an example to the people around me that I love that living by your flesh is the way to go because that's not the way to go. But here's the good news, okay? Let's look at uh Corinthians one, uh ten and thirteen. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let your let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. So when when I'm tempted and those pressures get to me and I and I'm tempted to be angry and I'm tempted to let the devil have his way and cause a whole lot of commotion and a whole lot of confusion, God is going to provide a way out for me. And I I'm, I'm going to take that way too. So the anger I felt last week, I don't feel today because I prayed about it. I talked to God about it. I asked him to help me. We didn't even make it to church yesterday. Because everybody had to work besides me. And I really felt like I needed to go to church. Well, my daughter called me yesterday evening. She said, Mama, we're doing a prayer line. Do you want to get on the prayer line? And I said, yes. I, uh, yes, yes, I really do. Because I was still I was still angry. And so we did prayer. It was wonderful. Young lady, um, her best friend lives in California. It was praying for us and praying for her family. Praying for the children to go back to school. And then... A word she spoke, one word got me right. Distraction. And I realized that that's what the devil's trying to do, distract me. Keep my mind on this foolish thing over here, right? Keep my mind on that, and then my mind won't be on Christ. Well, that's what the devil wants. So thank God for that that word last night. I would not be distracted be distracted by the devil, his tricks, his plots, his plans. No, because God's going to provide me with a way out. He already has. And he's going to do that same thing for you. If you're going through something, if you're under pressure, you under stress, the devil just keep, 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 keep. Nope. Thing to do is get in your word. Thing to do is get in your prayer. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys this week. So thank you guys for joining me today. And as always, be blessed.